This morning in homes across East Texas, this is the painful sound of recovery. We ain't never experienced this before. Thousands in cities like Beaumont and Port Arthur are now returning home for the very first time. Anything that was on the floor, definitely saturated. Marva Brown was hit by a wall of water. Now she faces a stream of tears. You have to take one day at a time. You say what you can't say, you rest. You can get it back later. It's not just neighborhoods swamped by Harvey. Interstates like I-10 are submerged in water. Roads are a mess, and in Houston, at least 75 schools remain closed. Many won't open at all. Others are packed with people. 37,000 seeking refuge in shelters. Want anybody? President Trump meeting hurricane survivors. My hands are too big. The president offering a helping hand, speaking to families with nowhere to turn. It's been really nice. It's been a, it's been a wonderful thing. It's as, tr as tough as this was, it's been a wonderful thing. There were more rescues over the weekend. The military now focusing on providing the basics, water, food and clothing donated by the masses. Thank you, guys. This morning, volunteers are still going house to house. These teens carried out dozens of rescues. Now they're cleaning homes one by one. That's what life's about, helping others, getting them through life. We're all in it together. The official death toll here stands at 43 after Harvey. The damage is in the billions, though for so many, it's measured one home at a time. That's Holly. absolutely right. Miguel Almaguer live for us there in Texas this morning. Miguel, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.